Welcome. In this video, I'm going to install Holder Manager 2 all the way through to having a HUD working on a live table. First, I'm going to give you a, a brief overview of how Holder Manager works. First, your poker client writes hand history files to your hard drive. Then, Holder Manager finds these hand history files and imports them into the Holder Manager PostgreSQL database. So two key things need to happen for Holder Manager to work. Your poker client must save the hand history files to your hard drive. Some don't do this by default, and I'll cover this a bit later. And Holder Manager must find these hand history files. They can be anywhere on your hard drive, but Holder Manager can also auto-detect most poker client installs. Now that we have the basics of how Holder Manager works, let's go ahead and install HM2. Our combo installer will install PostgreSQL and Microsoft's .NET 4 framework if your system doesn't already have these programs. So here I'm on my desktop and I've downloaded Holder Manager 2, the full setup file, which is over 100 megabytes. I'm going to double click this and uh, run it. Currently my system does not have Postgres installed or hold a manager. So this is fairly basic here. Just go through the, the licensing. And then here you can see PostgreSQL is required, but I don't have it and it's checked. So I'm going to go ahead and click next here with both hold a manager and PostgreSQL checked. And using the default destination folder here is highly recommended. And I'm going to click next again. And here it's installing PostgreSQL. I'm going to pause the video while it's doing this and then come back as soon as the installation is complete. The first time you run Holder Manager 2, you're going to go through the Holder Manager 2 setup wizard. Here you can import a database from Holder Manager 1 if Postgres was already installed and you had your uh, Holder Manager 1 database there. Since I don't have a Holder Manager 1 database, it's not going to ask me to import from there. But I'm going to show you how to do it inside the program here in a minute too. So on this screen, it's going to create a new database, Holder Manager 2. And then it uh, says to use the default database parent folder location, which is here. And I recommend that you use the defaults here. I'm going to click Next. And then uh, it's basically finished here saying what it's going to do, it's going to create the database. I'm going to go ahead and click Finish. And it's going to pull up uh, a web page here of our facts where you can read some more information about the first time install and stuff. But since you're watching the video, I'm just going to run through this with you here. Earlier I said I'd show you how to import your Holder Manager 1 database from inside of Holder Manager 2. So now that Holder Manager 2 is installed, I'm going to go down here to the bottom right and click the Holder Manager 2 database button here. Then over here on the import tab, you can import from Holder Manager 1 and you can see here no Holder Manager 1 database. Just remember, I just installed Postgres so I have a fresh database, but if you did have a Holder Manager 1 database. This is how you can import the hands. Now there's also another way to import your hands and that's finding them on your hard drive. So let me go ahead and go over here and we'll, we'll find um, my archive folders. So you can see this is my C drive in your archive folders where Holder Manager saves your hand history files is right here. It's either in the HM2 archive or the HM archive and as you can see as you drill down here you can see that uh, it's sorted by year, month, and day. So that's another way that you can import your old hands in the Holder Manager 2. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to get your HUD working if it doesn't already work after an install because again we do set up a lot of things automatically here. So the first thing I'm going to check is my auto import folders and that's by clicking the hand importing button in the ribbon and then the auto import folders. Now this is good news. I have Carbon Poker installed and it automatically found that folder. Now 
you can click this auto detect button and sometimes a new site with a hand history folder will come up or you can actually manually add this folder now what folder is this right so you know the next thing you want to do is open up your poker client let's go ahead and uh, do that I have merge here and you want to make sure that your poker client is saving hand history files remember there's two things to make holder manager work number one make sure the poker client is saving hand history files to your hard drive and number two have holder manager manager pick those up and that's what this auto import folder list is here so inside of the merge carbon poker client I believe the hand history uh, options are over here in settings and then hand history settings now you want to make sure enable hand histories is checked because otherwise it's not going to save this location to your hard drive and then the current location here is where these hand histories are going to be saved and this is the location that you want to make sure that the hold the manager auto import folder list has uh, properly selected that folder location okay I believe that these uh, hand history folders are set up correctly so let's go ahead and open up a table and my HUD should just work Let me uh, find a table where I can sit down And I'll go ahead and fast forward until it's my big blind because you know we won't see the HUD until the first hand that we play is complete on most sites. Okay, I'm back here. This is the end of the first hand, and the hand should import now, and my HUD should come up, in which it did. Let's go ahead and see if we can make a few cents here. <laughs> okay everything looks normal now and this is how you set up Holder Manager 2 from a first time install to getting your HUD working if you have any questions at all don't hesitate to email support at holdermanager.com or post in our forums with any questions you may have just remember to get Holder Manager to work your poker client must be saving hand histories to your hard drive you can actually double check these hand history files by going into Windows Explorer to that folder location to make sure the hand history files are being saved and then number two Holder Manager must find these hand history files and be able to import them into Holder Manager 2.